Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna give you a rundown of the patch 1.4 official live stream, everything you need to know in the shortest amount of time because I talk really fast. And so I'm gonna give you guys all the information you need without wasting any of your time. The only thing I want you guys to know is that I stream almost every night on Twitch, link in the description if you're interested. And feel free to put the speed at 0.75 if you can't keep up or whatever, because I am trying to keep this video short, which is why I'm talking fast. That being said, let's get right into it. First thing I wanna mention is that there are some new codes for Primo Gems, 100 Primo Gems each, but they're not available for long, so be sure to get them now. All three codes will be in the description so that you can copy paste them. In terms of new banners, both Venti and Child are coming back. Uh, everyone's been waiting for Venti, he's one of the best supports in the game. You will have the chance of getting him again, um, because he will be coming back, along with Child and separate banners. Most importantly, everyone's favorite goth waifu is coming. Rosaria has finally been announced. She's gonna be a cryo four-star polearm user. Finally, another four-star character that looks really, really cool. So Rosaria is finally coming, and so am I. And Rosaria is gonna be on the Child banner. She's gonna be a rate-up four-star, as I said. Uh, which is nice if you want multiple constellations of her or if you're trying to get child as well uh, you can knock out two birds on one stone because she'll be featured on tartaglia's banner and not to talk too long about rosaria but her abilities do look really cool she can teleport behind enemies and has a really cool looking burst so i'm very excited about her weapon wise there are many new weapons coming there's a new five star bow that looks very cool as well as three new four star weapons a catalyst a sword and a bow. They also announced a new story boss, the Abyss Herald, and he looks like an absolute tank. He looks really cool, and I hope he's a challenging fight. Furthermore, there's gonna be a bunch of story regarding that Abyss and Danesleaf. There's gonna be a Danesleaf quest, uh, more Danesleaf story, and I'm super excited about it because Danesleaf is sick and I'm excited for him to become playable. Mihoyo finally heard our prayers and is giving us a dating simulator. Uh, so far, we've seen Bennett, Changya, Noel, and Barbara. We do get the best boy Bennett in this dating sim, and there will be more characters in the future uh, added to this. One of the little things I'm super hyped about is the new Oshanid event. Basically, we're gonna have a new pet, so like a Seelie, but it's gonna be the Oshanid boss, and he looks super cool. I can't wait to grind the event. Um, there's gonna be like a new boss with new rewards and stuff, and especially the pet, which is what I'm most excited for. I just really hope this new pet doesn't make as much noise as the Seelies. Also, while editing this video, I kind of realized that it's probably pronounced Oshanid, so I feel dumb now. And of course, there's gonna be a bunch of rewards for this event, like Primo Gems, Mora, and uh, XP books. A big event, the Monsad Windbloom Festival, is coming to Genshin, and there's a lot of rewards with this. A crown was shown, so there's gonna be a new crown for your uh, level 10 talents, as well as, you know, the typical stuff that seems to be another event shop with just a bunch of materials that you're gonna need. There's a bunch of new mini games uh, coming out with this event. There's gonna be like a rhythm game like Osu, there's gonna be like a Fall Guys sort of mini game. A bunch of events, some that you have to shoot balloons, some gliding one where you kind of collect just like floating orbs, just a bunch of little new mini games. And honestly, I think there's a lot of potential in these mini games, so I hope they're as fun as they look. There's also gonna be the Contending Tides event, which is basically an event that's like a bunch of challenges you have to do near Dadalupa Gorge. And this event looks like it has the potential to actually be challenging and very fun. There are also a bunch of small changes that are really, really nice. The biggest one, in my opinion, is the condensed resin change. Basically, we're gonna be able to have five condensed resins instead of three, which is huge. Especially if you're saving for new content or you don't feel like playing for a day or two, you can have up to five condensed resins now, which is really nice. On top of that, there's now gonna be a retry feature uh, for the Abyss. So instead of having to leave every time, you can just press retry. You're also gonna be able to showcase character name cards in your profile, and you can lower your world level to let friends join your world. Also, if for some reason you wanna remove autocook, you now can. Overall, I'm pretty excited for 1.4. I know some people were complaining that there aren't enough new characters, and I agree, but there is a new four star finally, and it's Rosaria, a character that I'm super excited for, because look at her. And all the events look really cool. We get a ton of Primo Gems, a ton of stuff. And at the time I'm recording this video, I only slept once in the past three nights. Don't ask why. So I need to go rest, uh, but I will be streaming later tonight. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave feedback down below. Subscribe if you want to, if you don't, that's okay too. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.